Hello everybody, welcome back to WWE TF4 the Facts Game Show. Mike C. I'm Fred White. Hey, we bring you that Alien Warrior Alpha upgrade series. So Fred, some of the good news. Oh man, um, this is the episode where we are going to, well, we were supposed to be showing you that the Alien Wear Alpha can do an external graphics card. It can. I installed everything with the NGFF cable mm -hmm. inside the slot where the uh, uh, the radio went, the wireless radio uh -huh. and the Bluetooth radio. And there was a lot of stuff that I need to tell you all before you start this, excuse me, before you start this build. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, I didn't want to show the video of, of Mr. Halls because I wanted to be able to uh, do this myself and get it out there because I had a lot of questions what if this doesn't work, what if that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And I ran into a lot of problems with this. Um, first of all, when I said you'll be losing your wireless connectivity, not only will you be losing your wireless connectivity, you will also be losing your Bluetooth connectivity. Oh, wow. Okay, that's one thing. The car that we recommended, that uh, the MSI GTX 970, um, problems with that. Now, the card read inside of BIOS. I can see the BIOS. I can change and stuff like that. But when I went inside Windows 10, the card would not work. Okay. Now, there's a lawsuit going on in NVIDIA about that 970 with the 4 gigs of uh, DDR5 memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. The card, I think it plays well with Windows 7 and Windows 8. And what I was trying to do was I was trying to install Windows 8 or uh, 8.1 on an external uh, hard drive. Okay. And I followed all the step, the disk list and clean and all, all, the other, all the stuff that you have to go through and uh, 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 CMD administrator prompt. And I just could not install the operating system on there. Um, but... There's a lawsuit going on with uh, NVIDIA about the four gigs being read in that card. Now, I hope you didn't get this card already because don't use it unless you're going to um, install Windows 7 or Windows 8 in your machine. I, I think it may work with that, but I'm not honestly sure because I couldn't get to it. Um, the problem with that card is that it does not use... Um, four gigs of RAM, like it says it does. Oh, okay. It only uses 3.5. Oh. There is uh, 500 uh, megabytes of RAM that's on the lower end. So it's not really a four gig card. It's a 3.5 card. And people that brought that card, NVIDIA is doing something like giving you $30 back, mm -hmm. which is a slap in the face. Right. <laughs> um, and... I couldn't get that thing to work. Now, I booted it up, and I got the black screen. And with the adapter, there is a uh, a knob that's on it that that uh, supposed to solve that problem with booting up to the black screen. And mine has three positions. It has off, it has, I guess, some middle position, mm -hmm. and then it has an on position. I tried in all three, and I started getting some results when I turned it on. Mm -hmm. So I switched it all the way over to the right-hand side. And, you know, I would see uh, uh, the monitor getting a feed, but it was still a black screen. Right. Um, just to boil down to it, that the, the 970 does not work with this project that we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I had to go back out and get a 1060. Mm -hmm. Okay. And trust me, the, the thing works. It really works. Um, okay. The, the simple steps on the thing you have to do is uh, take the shell off. Um, take the GP, uh, the GPU fan, not the CPU, but the GPU fan off. When you take the GPU fan off, you'll see um, this card inside the NGFF slot. You have two wires sticking out of it. You disconnect that. It has a little plastic piece holding it in. You unscrew that, take that out, put that cable that came with that adapter. It's an NGFF to HDMI cable, you put that in there, mm -hmm. and then um, you put it back, you put the shell and stuff back together. No, you have to make an alteration on the back of the Alienware for that ribbon to come out, oh, yeah. because the ribbon is very, very flimsy, I would say, and it can be punctured very easily. Mm -hmm. And um, 
then you feed that HDMI cable into the graphics card adapter. And there was another problem that I ran into where I had to uh, put a 5 volt um, adapter inside of it so it can read because it wasn't booting up. The power source that I was using was a CX. Uh, 650 M mm -hmm. and I plugged everything up right and it still wouldn't come on then I found um, a 5 volt adapter I had for my external blu-ray uh, drive and I used that and it came on fine installed the drivers for it now when I go to the G4 experience it says uh, VR ready yep. and this video was supposed to show you how to install the card and to show you how to install the HTC Vive. I'm having a problem with that. Now that I have that 1060 installed in there, now I'm getting the error message. It's a uh, Windows. There was a, it says there was a problem starting the NVCPL.DDL. And there should be a fix for that. Now before we started the show, I was looking to see if there was a possible fix for it. And I found one. Um, this is the thing, people. I don't want to... I, I hope you all trust me enough to... Uh, uh, and I appreciate all our views that we have. And this project um, is it, just getting ridiculous. But it does work. But some games I can play. Some games I couldn't. Like, I tried to load Mortal Kombat. It crashed. I tried to load uh, uh, The Division. It crashed. Mm -hmm. I loaded uh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. It worked. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a problem going on. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to get everything right before I show you all how to do, it. How to do these things. Mm -hmm. But the external card, trust me, it works. It does work. And I got to thank Mr. Hall for showing me that, um, showing me his video. And I was going back and forth with him because... When I had the uh, the 970, I was like, this, not, this isn't working. Mm -hmm. He was like, try these options. I tried it, deleting everything from NVIDIA uh, on the Alienware Alpha, then reinstalling the drivers and the 3D and then the physical something. But it did not work. Okay. And I was going to get a Radeon card, mm -hmm. a 390. But uh, when I went to Micro Center, the guy was like, well, that's older technology. Go ahead and get the... NVIDIA, which makes sense because the board has an NVIDIA onboard graphics card okay. anyway. Okay. So uh, I just may try the Radeon and see if that works. But if push comes to shove, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another uh, hard drive, partition it. Mm -hmm. um, because the hard drive that I have in Alienware Alpha is only 500 gigs. Right. So what I'm going to do is probably get a 2 terabyte partition it and have one um, with Windows 10 mm -hmm. and the other one with Windows 8 mm -hmm. on it and see how that works. But, um, yeah, don't get the 970 um, because it, it, it doesn't play well with Windows 10. It may work with Windows 8 mm -hmm. uh, because I'm not seeing any problems with Windows 8 being compatible with their graphics card. And it works, but... Um, as it stands right now, when I'm trying to load certain games, the computer just shuts off. Right. And I don't want you all to go out and uh, do this project and then like, okay, well, you broke my computer. I'm telling you, I'm warning you now. The video card does work. Everything I told you to get will work except for the video card, the 970. The 1060 works. No problem. Mike, Mike saw when he came in. Yeah. It works, no problem, and it says it's ready for VR. Mm -hmm. And another thing, when I'm trying to run the HTC Vive program, the computer just shuts off and it restarts. So um, this this is an ongoing build, man. Um, we're getting there. We're almost there, but we're not there yet. So just please hang in there with us, man. And uh, as soon as we get everything down packed, everything working, um, we will get it out to you and let you know. And I'm glad because we were going to do a show where I was just going to go ahead and install everything. And I'm glad that I tried to do That's it right. ahead you know, of time. Practice first. Because we would have been doing this episode for a minute and we wouldn't have been able to show it because I don't want to put that video out there mm -hmm. with this product and it's not working. And I'm like, right. well, you've been promising, yeah, but 
the video card does work. That, that experiment, you can do an external video card, but like I said, I did not know that the Bluetooth was not going to be uh, enabled well, anymore. They just basically said Wi-Fi. Yeah, I, I knew the Wi-Fi card wouldn't work, but now I found out the Bluetooth card does not work. Okay. So um, hang in there with us, man. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to do this for you all. Uh, that that has the Alienware Alpha mm -hmm. version one, so we can play some VR games, That's man. Right, so man. we can stream some VR That's games. Right. I have the HTC Vive sitting, and I can't use it. So just collect some dust. Yeah. Hmm. Hey man, like like Fred said, just hanging with us, man. We're trying to do the stuff and do it right by you guys, so just bear with us. It is an ongoing process, man. It's still continuing, so we haven't gave up. So don't give up on us. We're gonna keep on bringing this to you. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Like always, you guys can hit us up at thegamershow@gmail.com. Want to leave in the comments? You want to say what's up? Or also to uh, go to our website so you can enter a chance to win. You got to buy the raffle ticket, get that v PlayStation VR headset, as well as those Apple products. So go ahead and buy your ticket today. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our SteamOS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. What the facts? The Gamer Show. See you guys next time. Keep on watching. Buy those tickets.